Welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Dear friends, welcome back <coughs> to my channel. So it's my day off, so <coughs> again, the same situation. But the problem in China with this uh, crisis that they're facing there with the, with the virus, I think everything what I'm waiting to arrive from China it will gonna be a bit delayed and today quite usually if I'm off I would like to do some electronic stuff around here so I'm planning to play a bit with Arduino today and I have this matrix and I'm gonna make a scrolling text to hold it next to my subscriber counter to advertise some text on it. So I have this one. I have an Arduino Uno. And I'm gonna try to to build this stuff. And I think I'm gonna use a clone one. To see how it's performing the clone one instead of an ugly one. So I already will. Uh, I already write the the code. Let's try to upload in and to see if it's working or not. So let me plug the USB cable. Let me. Send the code to it. So all the settings are okay. Send the text. <coughs> so let's wait for the code to be applied, and I'll then we're gonna do some connections. So now it's booting. Done uploading. So. Some plug and try to do the connections to see if it's working. Some jump around wires around here. Let's have a look what we get. So I have this stuff goes together here. So let's try to push it in. Okay. Then I have the blue, which is VCC. I'm gonna use the blue one again. Then I have. ground if it's purple i'm gonna try to use here a black one i have black so which color i don't have there this one so i'm gonna use this one for the ground and then i have the first one which is not properly white white which is uh, data in i'm gonna use this yellow then i have Chip select, and then I have clock. So, with the diagram, this is it goes to 5 volts. So, I'm gonna try to connect with 5 volts, which is this pin over here. Ground goes to ground. Then I have data in which is going to D11 which is 10, 11. Then I have chip select that goes to D10 And then I have clock which is going to D13 So D13 is just this one Okay 
let's put this one here and let's see how it's performing And we have the message scrolling. So I say welcome to Symbol Tech. YouTube channel. So I can make also more speed for this scrolling. And I think, yeah, it's really in time. So I'm gonna modify a bit the, the code in order to put more speed in this scrolling text. So let me try to work on the code to change the speed of the message. So let's go here. And the speed I'm gonna upload now the code so the code is uploading and let's see if it's changing the speed and if you have enough time to read this the scrolling text I think it's better this speed I can see it's more speeding so yeah I think I was gonna stuck on this speed yeah I'm pretty sure it's okay so now if this is work, I'm gonna use the same some balsa wood to make another enclosure to keep it next to the subscriber counter. And I'm gonna be back once I'm gonna finish with the with the enclosure. In the meantime, that I was doing my enclosure for my scrolling text, in the mail shows up a bug, which is this one. I already cut it because I was so curious to see what is inside. I was thinking that is the stuff for my automation system alarm but Looks like that stuff I still need to wait. So what do I have here is a building kit of a s signal generator. So it has few components, a chip you three potentiometer few resistors some capacitors and block connector and a power chuck here is the PCB board the three ports and I believe in that the case and I believe in that paper is uh, the schematic of this stuff, how to solder the stuff in place. So, yeah, so I have the schematic, schematic, focus, focus, please. Yes, okay, so schematic, and the other side, how to done in place the stuff so guys stay tuned subscribe because uh, I think the next video if my stuff for the automation system didn't show in the for my next uh, day off I might start to solder the stuff on this one and I'm gonna sure pause the, the video 
what this stuff how is working so should generate the triangle square and sine waves so it's good for my when I am tinkering with something that I need a, a kind of a signal a signal with a, a specific frequency and a specific uh, triangle or square or sine wave it might help me to, to build other stuff so stay tuned subscribe and uh, next video if nothing shows up until then until my next day of uh, on the mail about um, what I need for the project that I started the uh, home automation system I'm gonna my post a video of building this I'm pretty done with my case I already finished it this is my case I already screw in place that Arduino that I'm using the clone one even it's not called it Arduino it's called it Wavgat I don't know which kind but it's doing the job so let me just put also put also the the matrix down inside it needs to go there so I'm gonna need to put it here first and then just put pressing down until it gets the bottom looks like it's all right so it's gonna looks like that let me now to connect the cables to see if it's still working how it should so I might use not these ones I might use the male to female jumper wires let me get my jumper wires from the drawer so male to female I need to check male to female Them. So let's look for various colors. So, really, I'm gonna use a dark color for ground. So, let's have a look here. So, I might use the black here for ground. I'm gonna use the orange one for 5 volt I'm gonna use the white for data in chip select green and clock brown maybe a purple let's have a look, no, a brown it's okay so let me hook them up I'm gonna bring the USB cable which I'm gonna go this side here and looks like it's working so now this stuff is gonna take place next to the subscriber content and I'm gonna stay all is there can find them that they really look nice uh, next to each other it's a vintage uh, style but pretty sure that looks nice and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy also with this uh, scrolling text that uh, appear there during my videos I hope you enjoy watching this video please subscribe and stay tuned for the next uh, next uh, video thank you